I think a lot of us have fond memories of OR because he was a father. Uh, he, he, was, he had that personal touch that you never thought that she knows your name, but you then get a shock when she, and I'm sure you didn't know all of us, but he had a way of finding uh, all our names in advance, and then she will call you in advance, Comrade Pumna, come here, it's your turn, or Comrade Rapiti, come up, you know. She had that, that kind of way, so he was almost like a father. I think it, it's just said that he passed on before he enjoyed uh, what he really struggled for. Uh, all these years holding the fort in the African National Congress, because I think the African National Congress uh, survived because of leaderships uh, from people like him, uh, that it was what it is. Uh, you know, the, the, I'm all, I have no doubt in my mind that uh, if OR was, was still alive, uh, he probably would be galvanizing young people, because that's precisely what he was doing in the army preparing us for the struggle ahead, because a lot of the uh, 1960s um, Gwenya was already, he was preparing us solidly with the politics, making us understand what the job at hand was and how we are going to make sure that we carry it out. And I think I should have even emphasized the issue of discipline. You, you know, it's one thing that has stuck with me in the army, uh, the discipline of the cadre. Uh, that you, you, they, 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 they were building in, in us. And I can then say it with no doubt that if OR was still alive, one of the first things she was going to instill is the discipline and the responsibility of the young people because the youth of this country are the ones that are going to carry us to that better life that we fought for since 1912. And there is no other person who can carry it through without us getting our young people to understand why they participate in the struggle. They don't participate for tenders. They don't participate for winning tenders. They participate within their communities, get involved in youth programs, not programs. And I'm not saying that the youth are disruptive at the moment, but I think we need to get young people to contextualize their struggle and, and the way of expressing their anger and the way they express building the country, not destroying it. Because I think at the moment, you, it just pains you when you see young people protesting over water going to destroy a library. That's not what Oliver would have, uh, he would have set them down and try and say, yes, you have a right to raise the issues of water but you don't solve the problems of water by destroying your asset. Of a, a, and that's what a, is, is missing. And I think OR would have been the happier person if you would have seen the young people building our country. Because I don't think the African National Congress has got all the answers at the moment. Uh, it has, it is on the right track, but I think the challenges, they, they change by the day. Um, so I think OR would have loved to see young people constructively building our country.